Here today with uh, Christine Barrett. Christine's the Managing Director of Channel Metrics. Channel Metrics are a uh, specialised consultancy who uh, focus on uh, building analytical tools to help organisations uh, develop customer management strategies. Uh, Christine did a joint presentation today with BP Lubricants. Uh, Christine, I wonder if you just give us a quick overview of how you've used and developed analytical tools to help BP with their channel choices. Sure. Thanks for that introduction. Um, we've basically taken the approach and, and been used really to put some science into how people have made decisions around the channels. Prior to getting us involved, I think a lot of those decisions were made by gut feel. A lot of sales teams and sales and marketing teams who are trying to make decisions about routes to market and which way to go and who to put through distributors, etc. So we've helped in probably a number of key areas. One is looking at the market maps to look at where, you know, where the customers are for people and then select which of those customers are probably best served through the distributor channels and which ones would be served directly. Going forward from there, we've looked at the distributor business specifically and helped them look at the types of distributors that they've got and to select probably the best distributors for them. Now that doesn't always mean the biggest distributors in the market. That can mean the distributors who are good for you as a business. So we've helped them to sort of look at the behavioural aspects of distributors and actually put some science around that. So they've been able to look at those who are going to be good for them as a brand and who will be real ambassadors. You saw in the BP presentation that their top kind of distributor or their preferred distributor is called an ambassador. Um, that said, you know, they have to work with other distributors as well. So they have their freelancers in there and the types of distributors who are big distributors who will play with everybody's products. But you still want to work with them in a way that's constructive for you. The way we help them to be constructive with those distributors is really to look at the kind of value proposition that you provide. So you're often helping those distributors to work with the next layer in the channel. So you saw in our presentation that actually we're not just B to B to C, we're actually B to B to B to C. Yeah. So it goes to a distributor, it might then go to an independent workshop before it actually gets into, you know, the oil gets into the vehicle, into the customer's vehicle. So we do a lot of work with them, helping them then construct those value propositions that they would actually, well, actually they, to be honest, they do a lot of the work on that to create a value proposition to go out to the independent workshops, etc. cetera, with. Um, the other area that we've helped them is to look at then getting even more market data so that jointly with their distributors they can plan to access more of the market. So they need to know where the market's growing over the next five years and they need to pull together business plans, really strong business plans to get into every segment of the market that's going to be important for them. Mm -hmm. So that's another area we get involved in. And we've also helped them along with another company actually to look at secondary market data. So what's interesting is trying to get access to the information from the distributors going out into the market to see what's happening next. So we've, we've helped them work with that data as well. So it sounds like using lots of raw data, helping them to analyze that and create that into insights and then using that to produce value propositions. And interestingly, I think what happens is that quite often the raw data, it's not clear to them how they can best use it or they, ha they have a good idea of what decisions they're trying to make. What we can do is make sense of the data and also work with imperfect data. So we might help them clean the data, you know, where they've created, sometimes people create multiple entries for the same company, et cetera. So we can help clean up the data and use it in a way which best helps them make the decisions. The data and the, the business tools that we create never make the actual decisions. They can propose an outcome, mm -hmm. um, but then it's really up to the teams to get together, use their insights, their knowledge about the market and use that data to really support the decisions they make. Christine, thank you very much for your time.